What's up, everybody? What's going on? I'm too lazy to go to my desk today. This evening, it's been a long day. I've been checking out some motorcycles, some new Harleys. Looking at those new beautiful equipment. What's up? What's up? Mo, we need to bring Brother Mo on here. You know what? I don't have my flag ready today. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, sis? How you doing? Good. I said I don't have my flag, but I got my hat. <laughs> That's all right. Got my hat. Ooh. Got your hat. Word up. What's up? What's up, world? What's up, world? I got my brother, Mo. Man, you know, he's so busy, man, for a sister, man. He been out in the streets in a real way doing his thing, y'all. And uh, Yes, yes. You know, it's sad that we live in a society. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. I know some of you guys been asking me, where's brother Mo at? You know, you're broke. I was like, you know, we'll, we'll get back on. He's been a movie star lately. You know, he back. He back in the house. <laughs> He been out there. I'm back. I'm back. Educated. You back, man. We need to teach and educate. You know, um, I've been telling people all the time. Kevin said, "What's up to you, Mo?" What's up, Kevin? Kevin Kimmel, I see you. I see you, bro. Um, I'm gonna let my brother Mo. He needs to rant. We're gonna do some ranting, man. It's been all kind of chaos going on, and we have. We need to. Let me just wear my flag. You see that? I'm an American. Wave yo banner. Wave yo banner. Happy New Year, bro. Happy ha New Year. Ooh, I'm just. Uh... Patricia, my brother Mo, right here. This who? This who? This yeah, I'm gonna start with these. I'm gonna start with these commies. I'm gonna start with these. Um, these commies. I'm gonna start with these spoiled. Uh, temper tantrum. Temper. Them temper tantrum brats, that's what I call them. Soy boys, that's what they are. And um, I, I just like, wow, it just, you you have the, um, they got this new thing that they, um, they don't tell, as long as you don't put your hands on a person. So they got this thing they can bump you now. So that's the game that the left is playing now. So they, they try to attack us. Look at this, you guys. They're trying to mess with us, Mo. Facebook is trying to censor us right now. They don't want us talking. Mo, it was it was kind of blanking you out when you was talking. Yeah. Yeah, but, but anyway, uh, they don't want... Um, put it this way. Uh, it's a war against us. It's a war against us. It's a, it's a war against against the right. And, and, and you got the far left. You got the far left that is, that is really throwing them darts at us that, that, that really want to take us out. And uh, from what I seen yesterday, I mean, I've seen this before, but uh, they're allowing. They're allowing these communities to put their hands on us. They allow that. And that's not cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I saw yesterday, the lady grabbing you, you know, and, you know, of course, we're patient people, you know, like I tell people all the time, we, we strive to show the world how patient and conservative we are, you know, someone told me, remember this, Mo, I don't know, someone, you, it was on one of your shows, they said, well, Jesus would be a liberal if he was here, Jesus Christ, they claim, would be a liberal if he was here, but again, you and I both know the liberals are attacking Jesus Christ, any beliefs yeah. about Jesus, and they're promoting the agenda that is against the Word of God. Right, right, and you know, you notice they're not attacking Islam, and these are atheists, and they are not attacking Islam. If you go look it up, they're not attacking Islam, but they are attacking Christianity. They are censoring us. They're not censoring Islam. They're not censoring radical Islam. They're not censoring. Allah, people that follow Allah, but they're censoring people that follow Jesus. That uh, they are censoring pe censoring people that follow the truth because they said the tr they, they said that the, uh, they're not going to allow. Uh, uh, the 
nowadays, the truth is the new hate speech nowadays. And that's the truth. Anything that's true is hate. So what so what what I see now is what's what's bad is good and what's good is bad. So right is wrong and wrong is right now. And that's the type of world we're living in. And now you got no matter what color they are, you agree with me, brother, no matter what color they are, just like um the situation with the little black girl that got killed in Texas. As soon as mm -hmm. black folks thought it was a white man, they pulled out the race bait card. And said, here we are again, racism. White a little black girl was shot by a white man. But as soon as they found out it was a black dude that killed that little girl, Black Lives Matter is quiet. Black folks is quiet. So you're telling me that it's okay for black people to kill black people? And and it's not okay when a white person does it. I mean, this is the whole thing that is going on. And Facebook that's keep trying to cut us out, Facebook, you need to let us ride. Like you let everybody else ride. Let us ride with our posts like you let the liberals ride. Let us ride and stop censoring mm -hmm. my stuff. Yep. Because all we do is all, all we do is speak the truth. All we do is tell the truth. And uh, I, uh, if, if we keep lying, if you keep lying to them, they won't censor us. Plain and simple. Yeah, because everything that's right that we speak, they don't want it to be known. Mm -hmm. I mean, they. that's why I tell people all the time. You know, I've been attacked since Mo and I have done um, it a, 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 a live. People have been coming from the left, attacking me. Like I said, you have the right to be a liberal, a devil worshiper, a Democrat, a Republican, whatever you want to be. But guess what? You don't pay my bills. So don't come attack me because I don't think mm -hmm. like you. You know, I'm a free thinker and I have the right to think the way I want to. Just because we don't agree the same way don't mean that we can't love each other. And this is the problem. Everyone thinks, Mo, I want to throw this out there. Everybody thinks, especially black folks, it's just both parties, me and you had this conversation, both parties yeah. are ran by white folks. Okay, let's just say that. Republicans, white. Yeah, yeah, let's just tell the truth. It's let, true. Let's just tell the truth. But because the Democratic side, a bunch of white folks have put a bunch of black folks on their payroll that means that those black yeah. folks are actually for us no 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 black folks ain't for you before they got to the damn white house so what makes you think they mm -hmm. can be for you when they get in the white house everybody's about yep. money i don't care what color you are you can say black dollars white dollars brown dollars guess what it's their dollars don't nobody care about you or me when they get them dollars and it's looking good you don't look good no more especially if you messing with their agenda period with their agenda You, 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 you're messing up their hustle. Don't be messing up their hustle. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> Nobody don't like when you're messing up their hustle. It's just like you said, though. That's funny, though. Like, Ron Acosta looked stupid the other day. He went over there and thought he was making Trump look bad. Yeah. By talking about the wall. Oh, it's quiet over here. Oh, it's nobody here. When actually yeah. you did a favor for him because it made a point of what the wall actually does. Yes. So a point. So so what's the problem? I mean, you know, you guys, we're not gonna be on here too long. I'm gonna post um most um YouTube. We're gonna be on his YouTube. Thick skin only. If you ain't got no thick skin, leave your butt at home. And don't come on there thinking somebody gonna give you any attention. I'm not here to promote hate. I'm not here to promote anything that's against anybody. Someone told me the other day, you need to be for American citizens. Well, what you think I'm telling you? What, what you think I'm trying to tell you? And just to throw this out there real quick, I shared this with Mo earlier. Um, dude on Channel 11, I forgot his name, he made a very, very good point. We're not even talking about the wall right now. We're going to talk about in the next few years how People say, no, allow them to come here. Allow the illegal immigrants to come here and allow them to get jobs. You know, they want a better life. You know, forgot about the people here that actually just want a life. You know what I'm saying? They still trying to breathe. But they, they want a better life. And they, they say this. This guy said this. He said, what the Democrats forgot is, what about the people that are here that are citizens 
later on in the next years that won't have a job. You guys need to recognize that over the next few years, you're going to see a lot of jobs disappearing, like transportation. They don't need you yeah. me. They That bus can do the whole thing by itself. You're just a body in the seat, turning the wheel, pushing the gas. They are getting so um, swabby with all the technology that they're going to get rid of dispatchers, hey, police officers. You think RoboCop, <laughs> you think that they're not trying to show you what they're going to eventually do? And so mm -hmm. what about the American citizens that won't have a job? Then you're going to have them homeless. Then you're going to have illegal immigrants that come here. Then they won't have a job. Now we're all just going to be here without a job and we're all just going to be homeless without. But people don't think because common sense is not common anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they are, uh, these people are pouring in our country, right? They're pouring in our country to take us, to strip us away from our homes, to take us, to, I'm so serious, to literally kick us out of our own home. That, that, that's what they are doing. Uh, it's, it's called hijack. Our country is hijacked. So they are hijacking our country to kick us out, to make, and, and, and take it over. And, and, and once you take it over, you destroy it because they have that same mentality as Satan. Satan come from, th come from three things, steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. And, and that's their mission. That's their mission. <laughs> well, that's just like here. Our, our governor that I did not elect, um, just because this Governor Newsom went in the black community and walked around in the streets, first time ever doing it, the black folks love him. They voted for him. Now he's here. Now we have a bunch of high taxes and stuff like that. And this has nothing to do with right. Trump. This has nothing to do with Trump. This is California laws. And this 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 governor went to a, a church in Compton, where I'm from, in Compton, California. And okay. he was in Compton. Now, you guys say you don't want to mix religion and political stuff together. So why was this man promoting his agenda inside of this church? And why were they doing praise dances and stuff? Because they were with what he was saying. I thought praise dance was to praise to Jesus. So they were praising the Lord and they were praising Governor Newsom. And Governor Newsom said this. He said, we're allowing the doors open for everybody that wants to come to this state. Wait a minute. What about us? What happens to the ones that are here that can't even make it? You know, I don't want to depend on food stamps or anything like that all my life. Not that I get it. But I'm saying I'm speaking for the people that are getting it. You should want something more for yourself. You should want to be better. You should want to have your own business. Black, white, brown, blacks, mm -hmm. Mexicans, Hispanics, whites. You guys that are legal citizens in this country, we need to come together with a unity for all, for us as citizens first. We as citizens need to learn to love one another yeah, Adrian, a fake church. We need to learn to love one another as American citizens. Forget about the color, because I'm going to tell you one thing right now. The color don't matter. The political world, you say it's a white man's world. Okay, check this out. Once again, for you new people, you got that right. You're correct. But you're voting on the left because you thought the left loved us black folks, Negroes. Yes. They loved us because they hired a bunch of Negroes to mm -hmm. promote their agenda. It's not a black agenda. It's not a brown agenda. It's not a white agenda. It's a selfish agenda. They're trying to promote everything yep. that's going to keep you and I down and our grandchildren, our children, and those to come. And then we're promoting abortions to have babies killed. I mean, I remember when black people had more children and now today, there's less of us having children. What's going to happen is we're going to be an obsolete race because we're so worried about every other race of color of people that we're not even concerned with each other in making babies anymore. So it's all now, it's all about abortion, abortion, abortion. It's my life. It's what I do. I'm going to tell you like this. If you're a Christian woman, you have no business promoting abortion. You should be promoting Jesus. You should be promote, promoting everything that's to bring children in this world. And to throw that out there again, I remember 13, 14, and 15 has nothing to do with you today. And nobody should be mis misusing that amendment. Those three amendments were for black slaves. Go back, study, 
and educate yourself. Your common sense aren't common. I'm not politically correct, but most people are politically stupid. They are. They are. They are politically. They 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 they're stupid. It's like not only they're stupid, they are ignorant. It's like enough is enough. Why are you promoting? I'm 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 just saying. Why are you promoting abortion? Why are you promoting racism? Why are you promoting that? I mean, why are you not promoting love? Why are you promoting hate? I, I, I don't get this. And, you know, I hate to throw the race car. I ain't going to call it a race car, but I don't get black folks that go to church. You got a church on every corner. You got a Baptist church on every corner. You got a, uh, a church of God in Christ on every corner. You got a Pentecostal church on every corner in a black neighborhood. I mean, even though you got a liquor store every corner, huh? but you got a church on every corner. You got a church on every corner, but you guys uh, accept abortion. You guys have no principle, you know, but you, you, you keep on being dumbed down by the white liberals. You keep being dumbed down by the white community. You keep being dumbed down, but you got a church on every corner, but you don't practice what you preach. <laughs> practice what you preach, damn it. Oh, woo, amen. Man, y'all, let's get an amen around here. Amen. I'm telling you, Mo, <sighs> my brother right here, see, I don't talk to everybody. What, Adrian, no Christian woman should be promoting them. And no, and I'm a Christian woman, and I don't support, I don't promote abortion. Yes. I keep it real. I've had two abortions in my life, okay? When I was living like the world, I did everything like the world. But see, now I choose to live for Jesus Christ. And for those of you mm -hmm. that sit here and say you don't like Donald Trump, that's fine, okay? But yeah. you must like yeah. him enough to talk about him, is what I say. If a person got time oh. to talk about you and they got time to go somewhere and post about you and debate about you, you got too much time on your head. Actually, you're giving the president number 45, as you say, you have given him your time, and he hasn't given you no time. So you're wasting mm. time. Wasting time. Straight wasting time because you're talking about somebody that don't give a damn if you do talk about them. Why don't you try to get out in these streets and do something for your community? Help those that's in need. Help those that are in need. Just like Mo said, there's a church on every corner. Hey, I'm from Compton, and there's a church everywhere in Compton, L.A. Watch, just like a liquor store. But you ask mm -hmm. the church today is the liquor store because y'all bringing your agenda into the church. You Ooh. expect for Jesus to change his agenda to support your ways. No. Oh. It don't go like that. Sorry. You better hit on a nerve. You better hit on a nerve. You better you better you better give him you better not hit him with your best shot, Rita. For real, oh. because that's what we need to do. Because these people are hitting us with their best shot. I mean, they hit them with the right, left, left, right. That's how they are hitting us. They hitting our parents. They are hitting our babies. Yes, they are hitting our babies with a left shot until they are just knocking them out until they are brain dead. That's what they are doing to our babies. And it's, I mean, it's a sad thing, like you just said. What are we teaching our children? You know, David Banner. I was listening to David Banner, and me and Mo, we've talked about this before as well coming back into the black community of things. Because see, I'm gonna tell you something. When I say black, I'm talking to all people because people don't understand the black entertainment, black celebrities, black sports, all that everybody follows, okay? So when I say black, I'm talking to all y'all. But right now, I'm gonna just say it like this. David Banner was talking just like me and you were saying. He said this on a video. He was saying, when we rap, we're not talking about nobody but the black women and the black men. Shoot a nigga uh -huh. in his head. Fuck a bitch. You talking about your own skin color of people. And then you got the nerves mm. to turn around and say, we need black dollars and black unity. So what you want some damn black dollars for if you're promoting hate, death, and um, what's that word, brother? You know that word. I'm talking about that word, um, genocide. You're promoting genocide within yeah. your own skin color. Fuck a nigga, shoot a nigga in his head. I hate a bitch. These words are what we're saying and programming the children of today to say. It's so sad that we're promoting this stuff and we turn around and say, Jesus is our Lord and Savior and I believe in God. No, you don't believe in God, fool. You believe in the devil. You just didn't know that, that the, the devil was the little God of this world. The little God of this mm. world is why you talk the way you do. You talk trash, genocide, Adrian, all day long. We need to come together as people. You know, if we keep looking at the skin color and looking at the media, the media, hey, I'm going to agree with Trump. The media is some fake news. You know, okay everybody with the media, will follow bro. it like National Enquirer. It's like the National Enquirer to people. If you're not looking at 
the news, you just jump on everybody else's bandwagon. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Did you hear about the church out here? What's that dude that had the sex change and um, what's that dude's name that had the sex change and he changed his name and stuff? What dude? You know that that dude? They got the, out here. They, what had, the? they had a. Um, do you guys know I'm talking about um, Jenner? Jenner. Somebody help us out. Jenner. Jenner. Oh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Yeah, yeah, Bruce. He's still Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. Yeah, he Bruce. Loose Bruce. But <laughs> someone had it um, out here. It's a church. And it had up there something about him. It said, either way it go, he's still a man. So I heard that they were attacking the church. And it's like this. All right, Fred. The church is what it is. God said what he said. You can live any way you want to. Okay? Neck bone. Mm -hmm. Live any way you want to. But don't make Jesus accept it. You can't have it yes. two ways. Like Mo said the other night on one of his videos. He said you can't be on both sides. You know, you mm -hmm. got to choose a side. You can't be in the middle. Lukewarm is nope. what it is. Yep. You got to yep. pick a side. Either you with the devil or you with God. And if you don't believe in the devil, mm -hmm. then we already know you're still with the devil. Because you only can choose two sides. It's what it is. Yes. Two sides. <laughs> the bottom line is what it is. So, you know, we just wanted to come on real quick. Bruce Jenner, that's right, need to run back to his man. <laughs> he don't know how. He he can't. He Bruce is loose. He don't know how to find a manhood because this is a problem today. We have more men that would rather be a woman than to be a damn man and support their damn family, support that woman and mm. support them damn children because you're lazy. You think that a man is supposed to support you. This is the problem with today's world. So many of you men are promoting, not saying the women don't do it, but I'm talking about the men right now. God said the man. you in his image. And God don't the man. no punks. So if you are made in the image of God, where's your strength? Where's your godliness? Mm -hmm. How you're a weakling. God only made two Gen he 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 just made man and female. So I don't know where the X Does in New York came from. Where's this X in New York came from? Oh, I don't know what my child is. Oh, my child may be a boy or a girl. He might be a roach. At the water say my child is a bird. I mean, yeah, come on now. yeah. What, what 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 what's going on here? It's only two male and female. So I didn't see where God which the Bible is the oldest book in the world, I don't see where he said he pulled out of the rib a roach or a, a, a wannabe. Uh, God didn't pull out a wannabe from the rib of a man. He said he pulled out a woe man. Stop taking off the W-O and making it a man because it's not something. That's right. It's a woe man. Whoa, man. And when, G, when, when God finished, the man saw... The whoa, that's where I got. He said, whoa, whoa, I got whoa. whoa. <laughs> that's what he said. Adam and Eve, um, and not Adam and every Eve. woman. You men need to get it together and stop. Take take off your thumbs and be a man and support these women with these children and stop making excuses. Yes. Simp. Sorry. Exactly. I'm going to step to the side and let my brother close this out. We're going to go on his YouTube station. Mo, let them know what station we're gonna post it as well. Hey, okay, we welcome, um, liberals. we welcome some liberals, we welcome some conservatives, we welcome devil worshipers, whatever, because we, we all can talk, mm -hmm. we can all talk. Yes, and I always say I'm the person that I can talk to anybody. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, I actually, um, it was crazy. I got in tour with Antifa's yesterday. It was Antifa's. They got crazy and violent with me. But at the end, it was like two Antifa's. And I asked one Antifa, do you hate me? He said, no, you don't hate me? Well, come give me a hug. And the Antifa, she came and gave me a hug. I said, I like you. Now you're my favorite Antifa. Come here. I gave her, Then about five minutes later, I came and gave her another hug. You know, I'm like, wow, an Antifa hugged me. So we don't hate Antifa's. Let, let, let's not get that twisted over right. here. You know, we don't hate nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I saw another Antifa at the end because it was like 99% of them acting up. 99.5%. But it was like 2% of them was kind of like, looked at me like this. said, no, I don't think you're bad, dude. But come give me a hug then. 
she gave me a hug too. And she was all nicely blowing the horn. I said, oh, man, why, what's the purpose of blowing that horn? I was like, she making fun of her yesterday with the horn. I said, all right, go ahead and blow the horn. It ain't going to bother me now. She started blowing. Uh, uh, look at her. Come here. All right, you be safe. All right, I gave her a hug. And I walked away from her. You know? <laughs> you, you, sometimes you got to come, come at them with the love of God. That's it. Sometimes you do. But then sometimes when you see other Antifas come at you, like they, they're going to hurt you, you got to fight back. You can't be no punk for nobody either. So. <laughs> and that's the truth because they'll wear you down and see people uh what Den dennis she's right on i like what she's saying oh they're talking to you mo dennis hey dennis nice to um see you on the video thanks for coming and joining us as well you probably already know about mo's live we're going to go on his youtube in a second um that's the hard part how do you deal with the hate coming at you they're asking you mo how do you deal with it how I deal with the hate, I just, um, you know what, I just deal with them with love. I just don't bring hate back at them, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, uh, I look at them as just miserable, unhappy people. So uh, when, when a person is a hateful person, that means they're a miserable person. So you can't take it too much personal when they're, when they're hateful, but don't allow them to take you hateful. But the reason why I can deal with hatefulness because, uh, I mean, I grew up in an environment well, I, let's be honest. With you. I grew up in, in, in an environment, uh, a thick skinned environment, where, where they talk about your dead mamas. And I grew up in that type of era. Right, and right. I know how to handle. I know how to handle a lot of, you know, and uh, it didn't happen overnight that I deal with hate. So I've been dealing with hate my whole life, and I learned how to just just handle it. As being bullied growing up, you learn how to give it back. You know how to roast back at them, and uh, huh? yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't hold nothing back. Don't hold nothing back. You know, you, you just gotta learn how to give it back. When, when when a person is throwing hate at you, or when a person is just saying something to hurt your feelings, give it back to them. <laughs> it's just words. <laughs> just give it back to them. For real. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm this truth. type of person I am. You know, if 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 a, if a, I'm saying I'm the type of person. If a white person call me n word, I'm gonna call him a cracker bag. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean. I give it right back. You know what I'm saying? If you're Mexican, you, 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 you throw a racial slur at me, I'm subject to give, the, give your racial slur back to you. I mean, for, for real. You, 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 you call me fat and you skinny, I'm going to be like, you olive oil looking bony toothpick. I'm going to say it like that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you got to learn how to... I'm, I'm not saying y'all, but that's how I deal with it. I give it back to them. Right. That's it. Right. Right. And that's the only way. I mean, at the end of the... You can have an argument, real friends, and people can have an argument, not agree, and still come back and say, you know what, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I go through yeah. that sometimes, too, where I go through something with somebody, and I be like, you know what, why can't we just love one another? You know, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, stop attacking me because I don't agree with your way of life, okay? Because if you don't want me to come at you and force my religion, my beliefs, or anything on you, do not try to make me believe and follow what you say because you don't like somebody. That's what I don't get. Like, like right now, people were pre people were black folks. They will condemn you first before anybody else. <laughs> black people will condemn each other. Okay, you just damn like right. Relation with R. Kelly. Those black people that hung around R. Kelly, they promoted it all this time. You know, Cosby or whoever, and. The thing is, is that the first thing they say, are you promoting? I'm not saying I promote anything that's wrong, but you got to remember is do you take the love? Because we're talking about people and hate. Do you take love, the love of God, and try to help somebody when they're in the sin? Because the Bible teaches mm -hmm. you. And then you say, see, this is the thing is people say they don't judge, but they use that method when it's all good with them to sin and to hang with people that practice sin. But the moment that sin doesn't look too good anymore, especially if they're in celebrity status, because they put celebrities, football players, basketball players, you put them on a pedestal, you even put the presidents, you put Obama, Clinton, you put all these people on a pedestal, you put them over God. The minute they do something wrong, oh, that, oh I, I should have known that black, uh, you always the first to condemn. Yep. The first, the first, the first. Black people, it's sad that we hate on each other so much and we sit here and talk about white folks. You can't talk about no white people. Let me tell you right now, you don't have to like what I say, but y'all need to mm. shut up. 
because you hate yep. each other more than the white folks. And don't tell me that a white person talk. I went in a store yesterday and I was smiling, you know, at the black lady and she, she frowned at me and I'm smiling. I said, how you done? She just turned it. But she looked at the white folks and how, how you doing? Now, wait a minute. That that's sad. And you sit here and you want to tell me black dollars matter. Well, guess what? Dollars are green. And don't nobody in the political party care what color you are. I don't care if you like Trump, you want to call him 45 or whatever the hell you want to say. Pelosi, Schumer, uh, Maxine Waters, Mad Maxine, they don't care about you. Mm -hmm. They don't care about me. And they don't care about what you got yeah. to say. Because you can see no, they don't. we can battle all day long and not like each other. And they still don't care. Has any one of them opened up a phone call line to us and said, I want to hear what you mm -hmm. got to say as an American citizen? But nope. I've seen some young black folks go to the White House and talk to Trump. Mm. So I'm going to let Mo close this out, you guys. What's that? Stop hating on hey, each everybody. other and sick yeah. of us. See, everybody. People need more God. Yeah, a lot of people need more God. But as you can see, it's less God going on in the world right now. The time is winding up. What was that? Did you post that? Someone posted something about uh, some kind of, um, what's the locust, Lucas or something that's in the Muslim um, temple or something? They saw a whole bunch of them that showed up. No, I didn't. I didn't post that. Lo okay, somebody was locust. sharing that, and I saw it on news as well. But. See, when you talk real, the video starts messing up because they're so busy. Yeah, they do that. So I guess we must be really popular because Facebook is so yes, busy yeah. right now. So, you know, just to say this, you guys, before we um, smooth off of here, is that, you know, you need to really understand what you're talking about and what you're mad at somebody for. Someone said that they will unfriend you because you don't vote for Trump or, or you do or you don't. That's absolutely stupid. Nobody gets Stupid ass. paid for this mess, man. Hey, Keisha. That's my little sister right there, Mo. Hey, sister Keisha. Hey, Keish. Good to see you, Keish. <laughs> but it's the truth. You know, I could care less how many black people unfriend me and how many white people friend me. Because at, when I die, I'm not taking none of y'all with me. None of y'all's going to have mm -hmm. my back. I remember when I was fighting cancer. None of y'all was there. Nobody came and supported me, but Jesus was always there because that's why I'm still here and making it through right now. And I'm in 2019 mm. still doing my thing. So I'm going to tell you like this. Yes. Stop following people because they're the same color as you because they don't give a damn about you. Okay? Black skin, white skin, brown skin, they don't care. Skin don't... You need thick skin. Like most say, you need thick skin. Thick skin will get you through all the skin because all the, all the skin... Is, got problems, and they got some damn funky sin. All right, Mo. Mo going to close us out with our last word. What, what we got going on for 19, Mo? Everybody, everybody, uh, just um, do your part. Do your part. Do your part. Uh, it's like when you, uh, when, you, when you are on a basketball team, whether you a small forward or a center or a point guard or whether you are just a role player, everybody got a role. You know what I'm saying? Whether you score a lot of points, get a lot of rebound, or get, get block shots, but long as long as you play your role, long as you do your role, play your role to win, to win, to win this game. Because this is a at the end of the game, at the end of the day, this all this stuff is a game that they playing with us, <laughs> and we have to go ahead and win this. We have to win this. Checkmate. Checkmate. Yeah. I'm right with you. It's been nice with you guys. All of you guys have a nice day. Hopefully, we can get. The movie star Mo back on here one more time. Again, we going on his page. What's the YouTube? What channel is that? Maurice Delk. Oh. Right there. Maurice Delk. Just look it up. You'll see me right there. Maurice Delk. Look him up. We'll be on there next. Um, if you like to come on, yep, go on and talk. Loud. Hey, Mo always opens the door. You know, this is one thing I like about this brother is that he allows anyone to come and talk. Nobody can censor what this man does. This man keeps it 1,000. I like to say 1,000 because 100 ain't enough. 100 ain't enough. I think it's too little. I think we need to get to 1,000 right now. So I'm going to tell you like this. Mm -hmm. Bring it to Maurice Delk, M-O, then R-E-E-S-E. -E. 
Delk, D E L E S E. E S E. Yep, D E L K. Yep, Bring it to the page. E-S-E. Okay, come on and join us. You know, can we get a prayer? Sure, Keisha. We'll get a prayer right now. There it is. Yes, yes. Let's give God some glory, you know, because God gets all the glory. It's all about Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, we're going to shame the devil right now as he passes through the waves and he thinks he's really doing something. He's about something. Well, I'm going to tell you, devil, right now, I rebuke you from everybody that is trying to get their life right with God, that falling short as children of God. And I'm going to tell you, take your puppets and get gunk. I'm going to rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So right now, let's give God all the glory. Father God, we just thank you right now for allowing my brother Mo and I to come on, give some knowledge and some love to people because it's all about love, Father. Father God, we just ask for your forgiveness of our sins, knowing and unknowing, as we also forgive those that do wrong to us, Father. Father God, I just pray for every last person that's asking for prayer requests tonight that's in need of prayer. I pray for my sister Keisha as well. As she mentioned, let's go to you in prayer. Thank you for using her to ask this prayer to come to light. We shame in the devil. We bring in the truth. Let's come together with the unity in Jesus Christ. The world is trying to tear us down and bring us and break us apart. But Jesus is real and he stands strong. Father, help us all, Father. Help those with sicknesses, the homeless father all over the world help us father with finances we pray for the children that are suffering right now father so many children are being abused used and killed by their own parents father or a family member that they don't even understand father father we pray for the women and the men that's suffering as well father those that are in need of a savior We just praise your name, Father, and I pray for this. The government, pray for our President Trump. I pray for those that are hateful, that that, that go against everything that is good of you, Father. I pray that they will change their hearts and give it to you. So, Father, I just thank you. I praise you in your mighty, precious son's name. The only powerful name above all things is Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I praise you and thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen, bro. All right. I'll catch you on yours. All right. See you. All right. See you. See y'all. Y'all take care. All yeah. right, everybody. Have a good night. It's been nice. Head over to Mo Reese Delk's page. Um, I will be on there. Um, behind me, Satan. That's right, Jeannie. Behind me. Hey, Keisha. That's right. I love you, sis. I love you. I miss you. I hope in 2019 I will see more of you. You know, um, remember what I talked to you about, Keisha, and we have talked about the political stuff as well as the word of God. So you already know where I'm coming from because she is my real sister. (laughs) All right, y'all. I'll see you, John. Head over to um, Maurice Page and um, let's do this. Let's do this, everybody. Hey, I love y'all. And please know love is above all things and we need to give God all the glory and the power we need to understand that jesus christ is the only way there is no man in this world that will save us let's give it to god good night